What about my ladies? Have you thought like, I'm 35 years old. I sure hope by the age 38, I'm married and at least have my first baby. Oh my goodness, I'm 42. I don't have a baby or a husband. What in the world am I going to do? What about my guys? Maybe you said you want to buy property at the age 32. Here you are 36 and you're still renting. Man, this ain't right. Sometimes you all, we have to relax for perfect timing. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. video today is about just that, relaxing for perfect timing. Before I get started, hit that like button for me. And if you are new to my channel, hit subscribe. This channel is all about motivation, encouragement, and just help to get through your day, your week, your month. In this time we're in, in 2019, soon to be 2020, we are over inundated with negativity, social media, and people are feeling alone. The camaraderie or the friendship we used to have with neighbors, block club parties, all of these things are starting to fade away. We're all stuck behind cell phones and computers, and it can really weigh on our psyche. Long story short, it can make you depressed. Not to mention we are in the winter months and living outside of the Chicagoland area, it gets pretty cloudy here, which is something I detest, and I'm not a winter person either. So it can truly affect your mood. So um, stick with my channel. Most of my videos are inspiring, I'm hoping, positive, and all about self-improvement. In case you don't know my background, I'm a therapist, life coach, and a social worker. So I use the tools that I learned over these years to help you but I think what really helps others and what I use more so is my life's lessons, trials, and tribulations. And boy, have I had a share of them. So today, I just want to speak on not getting things that you want in your timing. And this can be upsetting and sometimes we really beat ourselves up. But what I want you to try to do is to take the timetables off. Of course, if you're like me, I'm writing down goals basically every day and I'm trying to stick with them. But what I had to learn over these last few years is to open up the timetable. Okay, this YouTube channel is at a slow pace of growing and I would prefer to have some more subscribers, but I have to be brutally honest. I'm always saying that in my videos. I'm a therapist part-time. I work a full-time job. I have a family. I have little great nephews. One of them is a basketball player. I haven't even been attending his games lately because I'm working seven days a week some weeks. So how can I dedicate all this time to my YouTube channel when I'm being torn with these two careers that I have? So guess what? I try to make a video when I can. And my YouTubers, they know I support your channel. I go to the different people's videos and try to comment when I can, but I know I know how YouTube is now, I'm learning. You know, people, if you don't rush to their channel, they unsubscribe. Guess what, I'm beyond okay with that because I know what's for me is for me. And one day, God is gonna open it up for me where I'll have more time to really invest in YouTube. You can't do every damn thing at the same time. Something gonna get messed up and I swear by that. I have a book that needs to be published. I've been working on that book for years. I have not put it out because I went back to school to get my degree. I can't do 14 things at once. And I hate living my life like that because I'm not going to put out quality videos. I'm not going to put out a, a quality book. I'm not going to be a quality therapist. I'm not going to do good in HR at work. So if I do something, trust me, it's going to be done to the best of my ability. And when I start spreading myself thin, it gets sloppy. And that's just not Tammy Walker. I don't do stuff like that. So. Again, perfect timing. In perfect timing, I will have more subscribers. In perfect timing, my book will come out. In perfect timing, I'll have my own practice. In perfect timing, I will get remarried. In perfect timing, debt will be paid off. So don't put so many 
barriers and timetables on you. I remember getting a divorce in 1999. I was 29 years old. And I told myself, oh, I'll be single for three, four years. Or really, I said two to three. I'll get remarried. It's 20 years later, and I am not remarried. And it's not because I wasn't dating, because I've been dating off and on throughout these 20 years. And I had some real mishaps with some of these relationships. But I ended up in a most beautiful one, which I thought was going to end up in marriage. And it did not. But am I going to be down and out because the timing didn't work out? And I'm not going to lie. I've been disappointed by that one. But even in that, it's a lesson to be learned for me. It's a lesson to be learned for him. And um, I can't take away the beauty that was expressed in that relationship. And what I have learned is we all are human. Even the strong people get weak. Even the strong people have a lot of obstacles that sometimes we have to overcome and we get upset with people but a lot of times it's not about us it's about them and what they're going through and you know great and beautiful people they don't deliberately want to go around hurting people so all of us can get down and when you really love someone even if you're not in contact like you would like to be or even if things are strained lift them up in prayer Say some sweet words, you know, to God for that person. Stand in the gap and leave them alone and let them have the space that they need. And I always say in my heart, real love never dies. And if what would be, it will be because it'll find its way back to you. I absolutely hate forcing things. That is like my biggest pet peeve, one of them. For an example, we're working on a workshop. It doesn't seem like people are signing up. Kill it. Let it go. I hate forcing stuff. I'm okay if nobody signs up for a workshop. I just rather pull the plug, go back at it, figure out how to remarket it, maybe market it in the spring. When you try to force stuff, it just blows up in your face. Have you ever really tried to be with someone and they don't want to be with you? Are you crushing on a, a guy or a girl? They're not interested. You steadily chasing them around like chasing them around a coffee table and they're running i hate that just let it ride man you want to be with people that want to be with you you want to do a workshop when people are coming and signing up you want to get a job that wants to hire you you're not going to keep calling hr hey what about now you think you might hire me now let it ride and i believe in hard work i believe in getting that yes but i hate forcing things i'm not my my side i chew is a nine or a nine I can't put on a size seven. My foot is just too big for it. So I'm not gonna force my size nine shoe, nine foot in a seven shoe. So I just want you to relax for perfect timing. Just because it's not happening doesn't mean it's not going to happen. God knows best. Many times he is protecting us from ourselves. And you will look back and say, whew, thank you God you didn't let that happen. People say they want a million dollars. If they got it, would they be able to keep it? A million dollars isn't a million dollars. It's 600000 after the taxes are taken out. And what are you going to buy? And please don't go buy some big old house in California that's going to take up all your money. And then how are you going to pay for the upkeep? How are you going to pay to cool it off? Same with Illinois. You spend three, 400000 on the house. Who's going to pay the expensive heating bill? Today was 18 degrees. That was our high, I think. Low, God only knows. Do you know how much heat it's going to take to heat up a big house on today? People don't think about this stuff. Be grateful you don't have a million dollars. You might have all these people coming after you. You know you're going to tell them because how many people will get that million dollars and be quiet? People want to be seen. They want to tell everybody their hand. So... Use time like times like this to better yourself, to learn about finances, to learn about maybe being healthier, to go back to school, to travel. Perfect timing. The man is coming. The lady is coming. The better career is coming. The babies are coming. Bloom where you are. Bloom where you are. Don't worry about the timing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep bettering yourself and everything going to fall into place.
Tammy C. Walker, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and just relax for perfect timing. Watch what I say. Everything will work out all right. Till we meet again, my friends. Bye-bye.